I am not a bounty hunter. I've heard otherwise. Hello and welcome to Holocron Entries. Today we're going to be talking about the Book of Boba Fett's first trailer. It's dropped. We've watched it. It's coming out in a bit over a month. Yeah, a bit over a month. month and a half, I guess, at this stage. Uh, Disney Plus, of course. But it's been a while since they dropped the initial thing, the initial reveal at the end of last season. And they said all the way back then, coming December. For a while I thought they wouldn't hit it. COVID, be damned. They are hitting the December date. We are now a confirmation. Trial that's happened. My name's Don Blight. Join me, Ashley Hobley. Hey, Don. Excited to be here to, to make for this show that's going to make Boba Fett relevant even more so. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess that is the challenge. That is the... Uh, it's like... Finally going to make him the badass that everybody thought he was for like 20-something, 20, 30, 40, however long he is. <laughs> Well, let's. So, jump, I'm just going to jump straight into this now because I've seen a lot of people. Well, I was saying mostly the reactions to this trailer was like, oh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Like, yeah, I'll watch that. Like, some more Star Wars, cool. Yep, yeah, cool. I have seen some people say that they this is continuing to ruin Boba Fett solely, sort of based around the whole thing where he mentions in the trailer that Jabba ruled with a iron fist or whatever, or Jabba was cruel or something, and he. He wants to rule uh, with respect or something like that. And everyone's like, that's not the kind of person he is or or something like that. Uh, ha- how do you feel about it? What do you reckon? Um, no, I like, I like it. it. I'm definitely getting like gangster kind of, you know, vibes, like gangster movie vibes. Um, yeah, and, you know, I don't care about Boba Fett that much. Uh so, you know, it's fine. Obviously, this is the Boba Fett who's been, like, in that Sarlacc pit for, like, however long after the events of Return of the Jedi. So, you know, and then doing- maybe he doesn't want to go around beyond the anymore. Maybe he wants a bit of stability in his life. Huh. You know, so it's much easier to, like, rule and, you know, go fighting all the time. Well, yeah, I think so the, th- the side I sort of fall on is that technically Boba Fett he was never a good or a bad guy. He was simply bounty hunter. He was, yeah. It's literally that thing where he's a bounty hunter, and he 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 didn't do the dirty on and like turn again. Like he didn't work for Vader because he was for the Empire. He worked for Vader because he got paid. So, <laughs> you know, and not, so it's definitely like doesn't excuse like siding with the bad guys, <laughs> siding with the bad guys. But at the same time, as a as a character, as a like, why did he make certain decisions? It was all just because money. Like there was no real I'm doing this because I believe in what this person's on about or whatever. So he's never really a good or a bad guy. Just always trying to survive, I guess, in the in the in the galaxy. And now he's got the opportunity to to be his own boss, do what he wants, comes in, rules, uh, rule in, rule Tatooine or, or whatever, or that section. Of, I guess the, it's also going to be more, he's not just ruling Tatooine, he's ruling that entire sector yeah. of the underworld, which is the thing. Uh, and that's definitely the, the takeaway I got most from the trailer is that, oh, I remember when they cancelled that Star Wars underworld thing? Or, well, here you go. Whatever. Especially yeah, yeah. because when they pitched The Mandalorian, they were, this show is going to dive into the nitty gritty underworld of this time period of Star Wars. And maybe it started with that intention, but very quickly it was like, and here's Grogu. And now we're, <laughs> that's, like, shit. yeah. We're, <laughs> this kid is adorable. Yeah. Like, this is so much story potential. Then that show did not really like. I, it just went a different direction. It went a different direction. This, yeah. So now the book of Boba Fett seems to be picking up where that original pitch for the Mandalorian probably was going before they began kicking around more ideas and ended up with this whole, you know, father son dynamic thing happening. Uh, this show very yeah, much leading feel, to the Mandalore. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. This show very much feels like this is about 
this is the Star Wars Underworld show that they mm. they were sort of originally talking about, especially when you have, you know, the entire trailer is just built around him pretty much having this conversation with several people. I would presume this is all from the first episode, to be completely honest, um, yeah. everything that we see, because he's basically in Jabba's palace at the start, which, of course, we know he's there because he showed up there at the end of the, um, the last season of The Mandalorian. Uh, he then goes and talks to a uh, – what the fuck? I went and found a species here somewhere because I couldn't remember. I th- a Thorian lord, I guess. I don't know. King, someone sitting on a throne. Mm. Would you see early in the trailer um, someone's like translating what what that person's saying, you know, being the one like you're still a bounty hunter and all this sort of stuff, saying these lines. Then you also see later in a trailer where they're, they're having that meeting with a bunch of the um, Jabba's old crew. I guess, you know, like all these, 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 uh, these second in commands, I guess, like if, if we're going for the, the mob sort of mentality, the, the capos, <laughs> the, the captains, I guess, our captains, uh, all sitting around this table and they have that whole thing where well, what's to stop us from killing you and taking what we want and all this sort of stuff. And you get that nice little line at the end where Fennec Shan says that, you know, if he'd spoken that way to, to Jabba, he would have fed you to his, um, was the word? Menagerie, Menagerie. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then you know, just the trailer ends with Fat saying, "You know, speak freely." <laughs> so, sort of implying that he will, he's not against, I guess, showing a, he's not against killing people, or doing things if necessary, but he's not trying to unjustly, uh, yeah, do things. And I guess that's what the trailer sets up at start. But yeah, I would say this is all from the first episode. Very much sets up this whole like. The, the the underworld in this sector of the galaxy post episode six um what what's going who's ruling it seems there's potentially different sorts of smaller groups and gangs or whatever ruling this side of the the gal the galaxy and from in because the, the other mm. thing is are we is all of this trailer on tatooine who's to say there's definitely a part here where you see a city that's like built into a a crater or something it looks like yeah. um doesn't look like neither Moss Eisley or um, Moss Espa, like the two main cities that we've we've seen there. It doesn't, We're that's, aware of, yeah. neither of them are within a crater. So it, it's a, it's either a, a brand new place is on Tatooine, which to me, it's a massive city. Um, I'm not sure how I'd feel about this huge city being on Tatooine and just that would seem weird to me. We definitely see a shot of him driving the- I mean- Dylan, it's a big planet. It is. But also, I would, like, he's definitely going to leave the planet. Because, again, it's 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 not ruling Tatooine if you're taking up the Jabba Hutt position. It's ruling that sector of hmm. the galaxy, you know? Like, that's the full underworld side of it. And we, we, we see him in the ship, Slave One or whatever they end up calling it, because they're 100% going to officially rename it this season. Cause that that's the thing. Do you know yeah. about this? This whole they they Disney's like taking the name away. Well, yeah, I know they took the name off Lego boxes. Yeah, yeah. which makes sense. <laughs> well, they took it off. They basically took off everything. They don't mention it anywhere anymore. They never Let's refer see. to it as Slave One. No, in, the, anything. The uh, the paint got scratched. Just now, Slave One. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> So I reckon they're going to come up with a new name for it this season. But until then, just so people know what I'm talking about, uh, Slave One. Because I mean, that's what everyone knows what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah. you do see him, like, that ship is driving or flying off into distance at some point. So um, potentially could be leaving Tatooine, even though I presume a lot of the show is going to be set on Tatooine to see other people on different uh, close planets or, or whatever, I guess, to, to do up. But, yeah, I would say the the show based solely on this is going to be deep dive into the this the Star Wars underworld, especially in this side of the galaxy, what the politics are like during this time, who's ruling where, um, and then it's going to be, as you're saying, like a very gangster-inspired thing where – Boba Fett has to get all these people on board with him and then he has to rule. But then, of course, you need some sort of antagonist. So you're going to have to have one person who doesn't want to work with him or one person who tries to take over what he, he's working for or something like that. And we'd, I would say it's no one we see in this trailer, if I was to guess. 
I would say it has to be someone else. Yeah. Is it someone we know or someone new? I don't know. It could be either. I I wouldn't be against it being someone we know solely because, like, if someone if it's someone we know from within, like the the gangster or the bounty hunting side or whatever, like that side of the 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 nature of Star Wars, and they're in like a, a position of power and leadership, it makes more sense for it to be an older character rather than a who's this. I've never heard of this person. Why are they like in charge of this entire thing? Or you know what I mean? Like something like yeah. that. But I don't know if they want there was a rumor going around this morning. I, I I don't know how much credence I'm gonna give it, but there was a story going around this morning as we're recording this about Darth Maul getting a spin-off series about About Crimson Dawn. Crimson Dawn and all this sort of stuff. So I don't know if that's also based off because they're gonna relink Crimson Dawn into this even though mole's dead by this point spoilers but like are they going to relink in elements of the crimson dawn to this and some of the other crime syndicates that we've had names be brought up in both solo or um some of the animated stuff like um relinking all these crime syndicates because then by the end of this show depending on the direction they want to go you could have this mass massive sort of crime syndicate war you know that that could be a potential direction to head for the the show (laughs) Obviously, this is after the events of uh, Return of the Jedi, so there is that void of yeah. the non-Empire. So that we kind of get a glimpse at in the Mandalorian, but you know. And the thing I've always found like sort of interesting for this time period too, which I I think maybe I even talked about in that first season of the Mandalorians. I don't know, but um, in a post-Empire New Republic coming into power. And we do get a hint at like how, like those few times Mando was flagged down by the Dave Filoni cop, you know, like what is in this new world where it seemed the Empire sort of left the outer reaches of the galaxy to more or less sort of do what they want. And they let crimes sort of go under the rug to a degree, it seemed. Um, What is the New Republic doing? Like, uh, is there going to be a heavy element of them sending in people to try and shut down the crime in these sectors of the galaxy and stuff like See, that? <laughs> it would have been interesting had they been able to do the Rangers series. Like, obviously. Could have tied in. C- criminal side and then the, the, the police it's side, I It's guess. literally yeah. the yeah, cops and robbers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two sides of the, co- the coin thing, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I still feel like maybe there's elements of all these shows that they announced and whatever else that's building to because, you know, we've talked about before having a all these shows that builds to like a mass event series or, or something like that. You could still definitely, like whatever they was planning could still be the direction they're heading in even though they've had to the switch around plans here and there and cancel some shows and do whatever else they need to do. Um, but yeah, uh, Crimson Dawn show, Darth Maul. Could be related. I don't really know. Not really the Crimson Dawn show. I'd personally be more interested in. But well, we all want the Kira. Yeah, we all want the Kira. <laughs> I know why people. Star Wars is dumb sometimes. They're like they're like, not many people love Solo, but like even the people I'm like, I don't know Solo is like okay. It's not bad, but like all right. Well, I guess everyone you hated all the characters in the movie. I'm like. No, that's not what I said. <laughs> like, I didn't say that at all. <laughs> I like the characters, like especially. No, I'm pretty sure that's what you said. <laughs> yeah, we have to kill all these characters off that mm. aren't connected to anything we've seen before. <sighs> Ridiculous. Um, any final thoughts on Book of Oz that trailer? I mean, it's interesting that they released a trailer now, uh, especially when they've got their Disney Plus day coming in like ten days' time. Mm. So what do you reckon Will we see yeah. a bigger look, the extended look, or like one of those featurette kind of things? Or, or like <laughs> I said ages ago, they drop episode one. They're not going to drop episode one. They've literally announced the dates when the, the things come out. That's called a mystery, <laughs> <laughs> Dylan. What are the chances we're more likely talking about a teaser trailer or something for Obi-Wan? I think that's probably why. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if they just got this out of the way because it's it's frees up some room? I don't know. They were looking okay. at the schedule. They're yeah. like, look, we want this thing to go under this many, this section of time. This this is a show that's a known property. Like, not to say we don't care about it, but we can squeeze this one out. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, pro- probably they'll probably show like a smaller trailer. And then, yeah, like you said, Obi-Wan and then potentially the... Cassian Andor. Cassian. Maybe? Yeah. So they've, yeah. they've got two there. And anything else that we don't know about or teasing or even and then, updates you know, on tease stuff. Mandalorian season three. Yeah, yeah, tease Mandalorian season three, which they've just started like pre-production on it. Right? Production. Think, yeah. Or pre, pre yeah. Was it? Pre- I assume... Pedro Pascal's busy. Yeah, he's still doing The Last of Us. So uh, maybe they're shooting some other stuff and they are in production. But either way, they've started pre-production, I think. Um, But yeah, they can have all that. They could have that. They could have official announcement of Ahsoka starting shooting in December or something because that's also a rumor that's kicking around at the moment. They could announce some more casting for that sort of stuff. Like, there's still plenty. And yeah, getting this out of the way and having us talk talk about it now means that they'll just have all this other stuff, I guess, to talk talk about because then they've still got to have the Marvel stuff and whatever else, like... It's not just Star Wars on Disney Plus Day, you know. Yeah, so we shall see. Well, my, if there's a bunch of stuff dropped uh, next week, we'll be back here talking about those trailers. So, and if there's Marvel stuff dropped, go subscribe to all new Marvel Cast because we'll be talking about those trailers over on that. And podcast. if it's other stuff, I guess what do you want? What do you want to watch? Yeah, <laughs> there's three. You sectors. might have to do all three. <laughs> see, the, see the triangle. <laughs> you got the triangle. Uh, this is an audio podcast. Yeah, oh, sorry. <laughs> That's true. There's an audio. But did you see the triangle? <laughs> um, look forward to our book of Boba Fett podcast, which, because we have to give everything a dumb name on the Holocron's feed, Holocron entries feed, just going to call it the podcast of Boba Fett. Hey! <laughs> Lock it in. Uh, so it'll just be on this feed, of course, that just have to rename all the shows to be silly. Uh, but yeah, so look forward to that when it starts airing on the 29th. Is that correct? Off the top of my yes. head? Yes. Yep. Uh, the, the 29th, so right at the end of the year, right after Christmas, right before <laughs> New Year's Eve and everything. Like it's a funny little date, but I think it's eight episodes, I think, off the top of my head. So it runs I to think, like mid-February yeah, or something like that. Right. Uh, one a week. They're not doing like a, a two drop at the start or anything like that. Uh, it's just it's one a week from what they've announced. Wait, one last prediction. Mm-hmm. Is it a mini series? Uh, I actually have no idea. I definitely don't feel like this is the only time we're gonna see Boba Fett. But just make but I just don't know if like the book of Boba Fett is a mini series and then Boba Fett continues into another show that's called something else. You know what I mean? Like the the rules are off. The second book of Boba Fett. Yeah, the rules the rules are off with the streaming shows, which I, I don't mind because like back you do this on normal channel TV. They're like, look, you have to call this, the show something. It has to be season one through 10, blah, 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 blah. You got you know, a bit more freedom or whatever else now. But yeah, so look forward to that. So stay tuned to Holocron entries. Stay tuned to this podcast feed you're listening to for trailers dropped next week. We'll be discussing those because I'm going to say there is at least something dropping next week. Uh, we'll see what it is. And then back here, of course, at the end of December to talk about Book of Bob Fat, whatever else is happening. So until then, um, Boba shot first. I don't know. I'll come up with a better tagline by December. <laughs> Bye. If you had spoken such insolence to Java, he'd have fed you to his menagerie. Please. Speak freely. <laughs> <laughs>